person, just a, a mum uh, with two small children under the age of five, uh, that balance for you, uh, both at work and at home, must be incredibly important. Do you mind sharing with us what you're doing, how you're approaching it, what it means to you? Sure. Um, so, yeah, as, as Renee said, I've got two preschoolers um, and I've got a husband that's a partner in a law firm as well. We both work full time. Uh, we have, uh, a bit like the other guys were saying, um, it's all about how you manage home and the choices that, that you make at home. We have a very uh, equal split. Um, we both you know, work really hard, but both share everything that we do at home as well. And we are really, really organised. So, uh, you know, everyone's out of the house at 7.15 every morning. Kids are at daycare. We're all home at six o'clock. Kids are in bed by 7.15. But you have to be super, super organised to be able to achieve that. Um, part of being able to, to do that and to be able to focus where I need to focus. Um, there's a couple of things. I like to minimise the number of decisions that I make. Uh, so I have coordinated outfits that doesn't matter what I pull out of the cupboard, <laughs> it will go together. I don't think about what I'm going to put on. Just two things will come out and they will match because I have a blue suit or I have a black suit. Everything goes with that. You know, I, Everything that we're going to eat for the week is planned out. So when I get home, don't have to think. It just goes on the table. So being organised and minimising decisions helps. But I think the thing that makes the biggest difference for me um, is the relationships that I have with people at work. Mm. So I don't think it's necessary um, that everyone that I work with has the same values as me. I don't think we need to share values. Uh, but I think we have to, and I, I make a real effort to uh, have a mutual understanding of the values of pe everyone that I work with, my staff, my team, my peers, my boss. Um, and there's a mutual uh, respect for uh, mm. each other and, and what we're doing. Um, having a really honest and open, authentic relationship with all of the people that I work with means that I'm in a position where they will do things to enable me to, to achieve the balance that I need to achieve and to focus on whatever is mo most important at that particular time. And I will do the same for them. So I've got my support staff who will try to block out a day without me asking to make sure that I can work from home if at all possible. Um, my team, I expect to focus on whatever is important to them at that particular point in time. And I know and I trust that they will mm. do their job really well because they are committed to, to performing and, and doing what they but need to do. But I'd also say that you're role modelling very well. Yeah. But I also have a very, very good relationship with um, Andrew Mills, who I report to, and uh, also the Commissioner. And, and if I work in an environment which fosters and encourages that kind of mm. balance. Um, so last week, uh, on a day that I had kindergarten orientation and information session in the morning, uh, I had to meet with the commissioner and everyone just worked around to make sure that everything could be done. Um, so I went off to kindergarten and I turned up for my meeting with the commissioner and the first thing Chris said was, uh, started the meeting with a story about um, his son's end of year school concert and how it was the most fabulous school concert he's been to. Uh, you know, it, there's, there's that kind of connection and real understanding yeah. of this is important and our work is important and we can make both happen if we both, if we understand each other and work mm. together. Could anyone in the panel comment, if there, do you feel like there's a sense of hierarchy in your personal values where there are certain values that are non-negotiable or you just must seek some kind of at least broad alignment beyond even just understanding but actually broad alignment and other values are, um, it's less important to have that alignment in the workplace. So do you think there is a sense of hierarchy that some people use? Mm. I haven't really thought about it in terms of a hierarchy, I suppose. Um, so the kinds of things that, that I personally value are fairness, being open and honest and authentic. Um, caring about other people, uh, 
and, and knowledge learning, like, like Liz was saying. And I think, um, whilst there's not, I think there's, for me, there's not necessarily a hierarchy. I think I feel fundamentally out of place and, uh, and uncomfortable if that fairness element is not there. If there's a lack of justice in whatever is going on, I, I, that really, really upsets me. But if I'm working in an environment where I'm not learning, um, it's not intellectually stimulating, or I, there's a period of time that I'm not getting that, I do feel that there's something missing. So I don't think you have to have all of it at all the time, but I wouldn't, I, I don't have in my own mind kind of a hierarchy of what values of mine are more important than others, just uh, how I feel if some of them are not aligned. Um, comes out at different times. I'm constantly advocating for women to be constantly supporting um, up and coming talent. Uh, to the panel, can you share, uh, I'll start with Liz and, and Kirsten, um, who's helped you uh, in your career? So for me, um, so I, I was really lucky uh, when I started work in, in a law firm. I started working for a partner who was incredibly inclusive. So even as a grad um, involved me and, and the other grad that started at the same time as me in all the decisions relating to the building of our practice and it was our practice. Um, so from the time I was a grad, I was involved in this is the direction we're going. These are the clients we have now and these are the clients we wanna, we wanna do. This is the kind of work we wanna grow into. This is our current team this is where you're at and here's your development and what I want to push you to uh, at these stages. And when you get to here, this is where we're, how we're going to grow our team. We'll have this person who works for you. So it was a really inclusive uh, environment and one where he constantly pushed and challenged me um, and guided my development. And a bit like uh, you guys, that uh, you know, when it came time when I was coming up to partnership, he was the one that said, right, we're going to go. Um, oh, okay, if you think so, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, but he really uh, encouraged and, and pushed me into that. And I personally really value working in that kind of inclusive team environment and being a part of something that's, that's beyond uh, just me and, and what I'm doing. Um, so I learn a lot from that and I have tried to to do that with the teams that I have have uh, created and, and worked with as well. Um, when that is missing, so what happened uh, with me is that I, I was made a partner and then we got to the GFC uh, and then the partner that had been my mentor through that time ended up leaving the firm. And so I was, I, I had a team and, and I was working in that team environment. Um, but that kind of guide for my career, mm. that, that um, support wasn't there mm. at that time. And that was fine. It just wasn't, I guess, as challenging or as satisfying as it had been previously. Um, so moving into an environment and seeking that out is, is something that I've, I've done moving to the tax office. I do now work in an environment where I'm working on something bigger than just my practice and, and what my clients and, and what I'm doing. It's working as part of a much broader team with a very supportive structure around me mm -hmm. that will push, push me and yeah. very caringly challenge what I'm doing, push me into situations where I'm uncomfortable. You know, I went from having a team of three or four in a law firm to having 200 people. Uh, but it's done in a way where I feel supported and I can turn to others around me for guidance uh, wherever I need it. Thank you.